Today, I'm going to show how we do a laparoscopic reduced port cholecystectomy. This is the operating theater, and as you can see, it's a teamwork. I'm standing there with the team, a lot of technic and monitors around. The operation after full sedation and anesthesia starts with an intraumbilical incision. We open the fascia, we make an open approach, and then we put in the multiport, a multiport system. In that case, it's the octoport system, which has one incision and the possibility for three or four instruments to put in. This is the connection device for the insufflation of the humidified and warmed CO2 gas, standard 12 millimeter mercury. After the establishment of the pneumoperitoneum, we grasp the gallbladder and completely free it from peritoneal or mental adhesions. And after that, we go straight forward to the area of Callot's triangle. Callot's triangle means the area between the common bile duct, the right hepatic artery, the cystic duct, cystic artery, and the posterior wall of the gallbladder and liver bed. We identify the critical structure, structures like the common bile duct, then the cystic duct, the cystic artery, and after complete demonstration, which we, what we call a safety view technique or the critical view of safety where you can see behind the structures an empty window here. We clip with um, hemolock clips the structures and then we divide it. Here you can see we just actually divide the artery. After this we remove, we complete the dissection of the gallbladder out of the liver bed, the cholecystectomy itself, and after completing the cholecystectomy, removal, we remove the gallbladder through the umbilical excess port. The gallbladder shouldn't be opened as seen here. After removal of the gallbladder, we go back in the abdominal cavity and have a final check if there's any bleeding or oozing. So this patient has a cirrhotic liver and uh, this is dangerous for bleeding and therefore we prefer to put in a hemostatic fleece. The preferred fleece in our clinic is the pre-rolled tachocele. And the next you can see it's ready to use in the OR. You just open it, you take dry hands, dry instruments, put it in a forceps or grasper and it's easily to bring it in through a 12 millimeter port as you can see. Inside the abdominal cavity we de-roll it on the right place needing two dry instruments, forceps or grasper and after perfect placement we just put a wet swab for two minutes there to make the active surface work that it gets 100% adhesion to the liver bed and after removal, after two minutes, after removal of the wet swab, it's there where it should be and it works. Finally, we made a suction of the free liquid, last control of bleeding and then we remove the ports, we close the fascia and we close the skin. This is what we call reduced excess surgery or scarless surgery, um, which leads the patient to an optimum cosmetic result with an optimum of safety in laparoscopic surgery. Mm -hmm.